Ladies and gentlemen, aviation geeks and frequent flyers, my name is David and welcome to this new Simply Aviation video. Um, this is day two of my trip to Portugal and then to Brazil with Tap Portugal. I'm in Lisbon right now and um, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, I highly recommend it. I will link it right up here. Um, but today we're not just attending an event, we are going on the Avis A330neo to Brazil on the first, they, they call it the first commercial long haul flight, although you couldn't book tickets for it. So it's just a, it's a first long haul flight where there are non Airbus or TAP employees uh, allowed on board. I'm one of the few people who is allowed on board and who is allowed to fly the A330neo to Rio and that's a great honor and especially uh, special thanks to TAP Portugal for bringing me along. And of course, I'm gonna bring you along as well. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, if you don't want to miss this video or any of our other videos, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but for now, um, let's head to the airport and let's go to Brazil. So TAP Portugal really put me into a nice hotel room and especially the view is what makes this, uh, this hotel room so awesome. So you have downtown Lisbon over there, you have the bridge and the statue right over here and you have a beautiful view over uh, Lisbon. But one thing that I... Uh, only noticed today, I didn't pay a lot of attention to this window. I mean, the view is still amazing, but it's not as good as this window's. But it is actually more amazing because right back there, you can see the airport. And I didn't even realize that until this morning. Otherwise, I would have uh, looked out of this window the whole night. <laughs> All right, but this is where we're going now. This is the airport right over there. I think you can see it. Um, yeah, and then we're going to take a look at the A330neo. We are about to check in now. This flight is not operated by TAP Portugal, but it's actually a flight that's operated by Airbus. There will be Airbus pilots on the plane and there will also be no ground handling in Rio. So we have to take all of our luggage with us on the plane. There will only be about 20 people on the plane, plus the cabin crew and Airbus technicians. So it will be a very empty flight and I'm really looking forward to it because that sounds like eight hours of a real fun flight. All right, um, so let's have to check in now. You see the flight number is not a TAP Portugal flight number, but it says GN120, which is an Airbus flight number. And when you look at seat, it says NSS, which means that there are no seats assigned. So uh, I just have to board first and then I can pick any seat that's available. Grabbing a little bit to eat while doing the Instagram story. By the way, if you don't follow us on Instagram already, you should definitely do so at simply underline aviation. I just have a second because um, I have to head to the plane because the boarding starts soon, but I just have to show you the food here. I really like Top Portugal's business class lounge, especially for the variety of food they have in here. Let me check, let me just show you the dessert buffet they have here also. Look, they even have little jars of food for babies. How thoughtful is that? And of course, typical Portuguese pastries, a lot of cake, rice pudding, chocolate mousse, like, can even... I don't really know what that is, but it, I love pineapples, so if it would have more time, I'd try it, but uh, we really have to head to the plane now. You can see it's parked out there. There's the A330neo, that's where we're heading right now. Yeah, sometimes you do it. Yeah, it's getting easier because too. Yeah, I think people. Yeah. This is the guy. Wait for the Thank you. 
got an Instagram live stream going, so um, in case you don't follow us on Instagram, that's one of the things you're missing. which means that every passenger will have direct aisle access. Um, in here you have these handy little storage area. Oh, somebody stored something there. They pick some other seat. Ooh, uh, somebody's sitting everywhere. Ah, this one is empty. All right, so there we have the storage area where everyone can store their things. This is for the in-flight literature. You also have your uh, TV remote here, your seat control panel right over here. Um, some more storage compartments down there as well as down here. And of course the seats can turn into a full flat bed. You also have your um, TV screens right here, which are touch screens, but you can also control them with the remote control. Sorry. So this is not the final version of the seat that's gonna be on the plane. There will be two small differences. Right here there will be a, a divider that you can like uh, pull up and down so a removable divider will be installed here and on the seats that have uh, direct aisle access or that are on the aisle side um, there is this little privacy thing right here that will go away as well. But uh, apart from that the seats will pretty much stay exactly as they are right now. Of course each seat also features a USB port a power outlet as well as another USB port and um, 
a port for the headphones. The table, as you can see, is uh, stored right here. Oh. That's an interesting table concept. Never seen something like that. All right, now let's take a look at the economy class. Still have some test equipment here because this is, well, the plane isn't certified yet, so they still have to conduct some tests, like here. But yeah, this is the economy class cabin on TAP Portugal's Avs A330. It features a 242 configuration like the regular A330s do, which means there are, there are eight seats per row. Uh, to compare, the Airbus A350 only has, uh, the Airbus, Airbus A350 has nine seats a row, they have 333. Um, which means that if you have a window seat and you want to get out, you only have to crawl over one person instead of two persons as on the A350, which is for me already a reason to prefer the A330 Neo over the A350 when you're flying economy class. Let's take a seat and take a closer look at the seats. So this is the regular economy class seat. It has a quite good leg room, as you can see here. Um, you might now say, well, David, the in-flight literature, the magazine and the stuff will come in there, right? No, it actually doesn't because the in-flight magazine will come right in here. So this thing stays empty unless you put something in it. So this is the leg room you will get on the final plane, which is really good for economy class. But um, TAP Portugal does have an economy extra in the front. It's not a premium economy class, it's just an economy class with more legroom, um, which gives you even more seat. So we can take a look at that later as well. There you have the table, it can be used half open or fully open. The seat also features a USB port as well as the audio port and of course a, an HD touchscreen. If you take a look right there, there is a power outlet right here as well as a power outlet right there. So every seat has their own. Some airlines make you share the power outlets with your neighbors, so they only have one power outlet per each two seats. But TAP Portugal actually has one for each seat, which is really nice. In general, it's a really nice cabin. I also like the coloring of it. Let's take a look at the economy extra seats. So the economy seats are green. The economy extra seats, as you see, are gray. And they have a little bit more leg room. So these are even more comfortable. Like if you see here, this is this is just amazing. And as this is an Airbus test flight, it also has Airbus safety cards in it. Wow. The galley in the back of the plane, also pretty much exactly like on the A330, uh, on the A330s and A340s already. They have the new ovens that they also use in the Airbus A350, but that's something you probably won't notice unless you're a flight attendant. And you have some additional restrooms over here. This one looks quite small. It's okay. Uh, another view over the economy class cabin. I just spent an hour cutting the video and totally missed the sunset. Well, that's disappointing. But hey, we're coming closer to Rio. Alright, I 
am here today on board with another air travel vlogger who is based in Rio de Janeiro. This is Jamie and uh, tell us something about your YouTube channel. Thank you so much David. I'm so happy to be here with you. Carioca no Mundo is my YouTube channel so it's mostly about airlines experiences, hotel and destination and one of my favorite cities in Europe is Vienna. Oh, that's awesome. I hope that one of my favorite cities will be Rio because I haven't been to South America at all. So, so I glad. can't tell. But from what I've heard, Rio is amazing. And, and so you should definitely happy. follow him on YouTube, subscribe to his channel and um, yeah. I'm very awesome. happy that we are going together to my Me hometown. Too. Awesome. Thank Great you too. so much. All right, we're already over Brazil. Let's try to get some sleep. Maybe just like one hour or so. So that we arrive at least a little bit fresh in Rio. By the way, one thing I wanted to show you, one thing I find very, very impressive about this in-flight entertainment system is that it has accuracy, as it were, Google Maps. Like you can zoom in to the area where I'm staying, where my hotel is, and you can see it even knows the street names from this area. That is just amazing i've never seen this in any in-flight entertainment system so far but uh yeah we're a few thousand kilometers away from our destination so we can just look outside the window enjoy the stars which you can't see on the camera by the way um and um yeah i'll see you for the landing about to land in Rio de Janeiro. The local time is 21.59, four hours less than in Lisbon, and the ground temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. Please ensure that you have your seatbelt securely fastened and your seatbacks and tables are in the right position. We recommend opening the window shades for landing. All personal electronic equipment must be switched off, except if it's set in flight mode or equivalent profile. Thank you. I just arrived at the hotel. I've got a beautiful beachfront view, which I will gladly share with you tomorrow, but for now I am really, really tired and I will head to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow.